This video will show you how to configure the 320 drive for two-wire control as well as how to program the two-wire type for level control. The first thing you want to go ahead and do from your main screen is enter on your dial. You want to scroll down into CONF, enter again, find full and press enter. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down into the inputs and outputs menu. It's labeled as one underscore zero dash enter. The first parameter is Tom Charlie Charlie and this particular parameter you can either set it to two wire or three wire control. A 2C means that you are in two wire and a 3C means you're in 3-wire control. And just so you know, every single time you have to make a change in this particular setting, you have to press and hold for a couple of seconds. But we want 2C, which is default. So once that's confirmed, the next parameter is Tom Charlie Tom. Now, this is your 2-wire type, and from the factory, it is set up as transition, which means that it will expect, the drive will expect a transition from off to on after you have powered on the drive. And if you have the drive power up with a run command, it will go to NST. It does not like the fact that you get a run command. So if you want to make sure that your drive runs as soon as you have power applied with a run command, then you want to change this to uh, this parameter TCT to LEL setting. Otherwise, it's going to be on TRM for transition, and of course, LEL is your level control. So in level control, you either have a state of 1 or 0 for your run command. So if it's already a 1 or if it's already enabled from the power up, it will just go ahead and run for you. And the last thing that I want to show you here is you can escape back to the I.O. menu, which is where you came from, and you can scroll down and find the CTL menu. In the event that you have uh, different channels, just make sure that your cha uh, channel type is separate. Uh, let's say, as an example, if you had a keypad as a speed reference, but you want to use your terminals as a means of running and stopping, you want to make sure your channels are separate here, which is what that CHCF parameter is. And also, the next parameter that you want to confirm is CD1, which is your actual uh, effective channel. Um, that the driver is going to look at for starting and stopping and of course when you enter on that you want it to be on terminals and this is the video that will show you how to program the 320 for a start stop from a two wire control now in terms of one more thing I want to mention here in terms of uh, the terminals you want to use the actual connections for wiring uh, DI1 is your start stop terminal and of course the terminal plus 24 is your source from the drive so if you have a dry contact you want to close the contact connection between the plus 24 to DI1 and when that contact closes that'll be your run command